What's going on there folks? Good evening. It is kind of late, but it's better late than never. It is Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this Saturday evening, 9-11-2021. It's about 11-11 p.m. West Coast time here in California. The latest quake on the globe is a 5.1 earthquake right around the Japan area. This area has seen some pretty deep earthquake movement today including that 5.1 along with a 5.3 just to the northern end of Japan. This activity all taking place in the subduction zone uh, of the uh, Japan Trench. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the movement out there on the latest flat scale model. That's kind of weird. There we go. Uh, 5.1 Japan region way down here just south of Tokyo into the uh, Philippine Plate area looks like subduction area the, uh, the trench I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce this name here but it is taking place way down there 436 kilometers below the surface way inland here and way down there below the surface uh, into that subduction zone also up here to the north another super deep earthquake north of Japan uh, USGS has this off the coast of Russia, 363 mi uh, mile, 363 kilometers. There we go. Let's spit it out for that 5.3 into the trench region. Pretty deep movement, folks. This activity taking place here on pretty uh, a wide swath here of about a thousand kilometers between these two earthquakes, indicating some sufficient movement down dip downstream here into these trenches, indicating uh, that we could see a release of pressure up here pretty soon. I've been watching this area. For a couple months um, for potentially a, uh, a large quake uh, a little bit bigger than uh, what we had seen during that swarm of activity here off the coast of Japan uh, I don't know if it's been a month yet let's go ahead and see if it's been past that 30-day uh, time period here it has but uh, so about 30 days or so ago a little bit longer than that we had seen a swarm of earthquake activity some fives and I think we may have even seen uh, I, don't, I can't remember if we've seen a six or not but uh, it was kind of clustered in this area uh, just off the coast of Tokyo it's been relatively quiet here folks when it comes to releasing some significant um, earthquake activity in this region yes there is earthquake activity showing up but not significant enough uh, when it comes to the accumulation of uh, stress in this region uh, it's a pretty uh, dynamic area when it comes to building up quite a bit of stress. And we just haven't seen that release of pressure in this area. Uh, I think the swarming that we did see in this area relieved it a little bit. Uh, but now with all this deeper movement taking place here around the Japan area, with Japan basically in between, uh, it's something to pay attention to pretty closely here at the surface of, of the uh, subduction zone. Uh, what else we got? A little bit further up here to the northwest uh, near Hiroshima, a a 4.5, somewhat deep, about 52 kilometers below the surface for that quake. Some further movement down here near the uh, Vanuatu region. Vanuatu, good lord. <laughs> uh, what do we got there? That's a, uh, hold on a second here, see here, that's about 29 kilometers. 18 kilometers for that one. Look at this earthquake over here around Indonesia. That's, uh, Wow, that's 539 kilometers below surface for that 4.8. So a lot of deep movement on this side of the globe uh, and this side of the plate right here. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty deep movement. There's some activity taking place around the South Sandwich Islands. A few earthquakes kicking up around that subduction zone as well. Basically along the entire trench area uh, from the north to the south. A couple fives and a four kicking off in that region also some air, uh, activity over here to the west a little 4.8 close to the uh, drake passage area uh, south america region getting in on some further movement kind of up towards the locked area or at least the subduction zone of the peru chile trench 4.4 at the surface and also a couple smaller quakes and a little cluster quite a few fours kicking off there about 35 kilometers into the peru chile trench just off the coast of the uh, uh, Chile area. So we're watching this pretty closely. Some uh, major earthquakes have taken place here in the past and the accumulated stress here in this region is pretty significant as well uh, when it comes to the uh, 
dynamics of the plate tectonics. Uh, Puerto Rico, a little bit of activity over here. Let's go ahead and check out the all magnitudes. That eh, doesn't really help out too much. Just your typical activity off here, right around the Puerto Rico area. Nothing into the trench, into the Puerto Rico trench at the moment. Uh, some activity around the New Madrid area once again into the states. 1.7 in Missouri and also some movement into uh, uh, on the Georgia side it looks like earthquakes in Georgia well you got the Sand Mountain and the uh, Appalachian and the Great Smoky Mountains all that stuff um, kind of built up over time so no doubt earthquake activity can and will take place here in the future but for now a little 2.3 near Trenton Georgia 2.2 around Carney oh well, let's see Carney Oklahoma the latest quake here in the uh, beautiful state of Oklahoma. Some further movement up here around Kansas as well. Looks like uh, 3.1 outside of Salina. Not for sure what we got going on out there far as the fracking operations go. But we can always look at that. Where this earthquake struck. I don't really see uh, too much. These are all farmhouses and whatnot, you can tell. Um, yeah, so who knows? Kind of odd. But Kansas does get some activity, no doubt. They do get some uh, earthquake activity. Uh, what was it looking for here? Looking for the right one. I guess that'll work. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we got Oklahoma kicking up a little bit. Pecos, Texas has gone uh, completely quiet. This area over here around the Pecos region has seen quite a bit of movement, but it's completely stopped today. Uh, Pacific Northwest relatively quiet. Idaho quiet as well. A little 3.1 near Stanley, Idaho. But uh, overall, looks like diminishing earthquake activity in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, California, a little bit of movement outside of Mount Lassen. Check this out right here. There's Mount Lassen Peak. A couple small microquakes kicking up into this area just outside of the peak area, about 2.5 kilometers below the surface, and also a little bit of movement near Chester and outside of Reading as well. Cascadia subduction zone looks relatively quiet tonight. Some further movement inland into uh, parts of the interior northern Cal along the coastal ranges. Bay area looks fairly quiet. The creeping section looks awfully quiet and uh, just your typical earthquake activity scattered about the Antelope Valley and Long Valley super volcano region also stretching out towards the Tonopah area. Uh, in, in this region right here. Ridgecrest, still seeing some activity years later. No new swarming to report, just a couple more microquakes near the Salton Sea and also the San Jacinto Fault area getting in on some action. Low earthquake out, uh, out in the Pacific off San Diego. 1.2, 16 kilometers, pretty deep for that earthquake activity. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Hawaii. Looks uh, pretty quiet. This here is very typical for this region. Handful of quakes down there about 33 kilometers. Uh, volcanoes look fairly quiet at the moment. And the Alaska region, uh, some activity up here to the north. We're kind of watching a little cluster of quakes. Uh, looks like 3.4, the largest in this uh, little cluster. A couple twos in there as well. Around the Anchorage area and the Aleutian Trench. Looks uh, very typical. There's still that activity. Over here, we're kind of watching folks, a little swarming taking place. It has been going on now for well over a week. Puts us at about uh, oh, 130 earthquakes or so in this region. It's been building up for quite a while, folks. I'm, I'm thinking something might, uh, might be an area to watch here for uh, some larger movement. Even though it's mostly microquakes, still an indication there of uh, some buildup of pressure and, and possibly uh, a pretty significant release of pressure here soon. So be on guard, folks, over here. Deep movement, uh, putting a lot of pressure up on, along the uh, subduction area. Uh, what else we got here? Yellowstone National Park. Let's check this out here real quick. A little earthquake activity in the northwest area of the park near Maple Creek. The rest of uh, the region looks fairly quiet. Don't see any ma major swarming, any type of earthquake activity anywhere else. So looking pretty good in the Yellowstone National Park region. Checking out the trimmer along the uh, Cascadia. Ultimately, really quiet tonight. Very quiet. One thing I kind of notice here is when we're getting quiet activity along the Cascadia, the slipping area, or not slipping area, but the uh, 
Well, the trimmer area, down dip downstream in the Cascadia, things kind of go quiet over into the Intermountain West region. And, and even though Pecos, Texas is a long ways away, kind of quiet as well in this region. Just kind of put two and two together and it just kind of makes sense. Lack of activity up here seems to be affecting the movement into the interior parts of the states in most areas anyway. Uh, the solar weather department sunspots kind of drifting off away from us. They are still pretty active. As far as uh, the potential for solar flare activity, 75% chance for C flare. Looks like 20% for an M and X flare still stands at about 5%. As far as what's coming around the bin at us, uh, Earth Directed kind of watching 2870, but most of these here, even if they did par spark off a, um, a significant flare, it's still somewhat Earth Directed uh, where it could have effects here on Earth, but uh, for the most part, looking back over this way, looks uh, like it's diminishing as far as sunspot activity goes. Uh, let's see what else, folks. Going to jump into a, a couple quick images. I'm uh, just going to do a couple tonight. First image is coming from, uh, what do we got here? Hermosa Beach. Jamie Fuentes, once again, sending in a uh, spectacular image of that region. Look at the colors there in the sun glare. That's pretty awesome. Pretty high, high uh, dynamic HD photo. Thanks, uh, Jamie, for sending that in. Uh, what else we got here? Peter up in Seattle caught this fire. Uh, the Snyder fire. It looks like Snyder Springs fire. Kicking up uh, outside of Seattle, looks like. Uh, some pyrocumulus clouds kicking up. Thanks uh, for the uh, image there, Peter. Appreciate that 100%. And also, um, I thought we covered that one. Didn't we cover this one? Pretty sure we did. Let's see here. Maybe I... Let's see what I did with that. Was it image three? Image four? I don't know. I could have swore I included more in there. Okay. Maybe I didn't. Uh, it's just been a pretty crazy day, folks. Pretty busy, but uh, we'll definitely try to get some more in tomorrow. So have a good night, everyone. Stay safe out there. Watch the uh, western part of the Pacific Ring. Looking pretty active with deep, deep earthquake movement. These aren't no joke little shallow earthquakes. These are uh, definitely some, uh, some deep movement taking place here along the uh, Japan Trench southward. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe. We will chat you guys another time. Peace out.